So I'm back with another review this time of Two Worlds 2. In my opinion, the most awful title of this year for a game. This is a traditional RPG. And I'll tell you more about that in a minute. First, let me tell you something about the main story. It's about you, the main character, and your sister are captured by this dark wizard in this dark castle and this dark wizard is doing I think some magic experiments on you and your sister and at some point you manage to escape the castle with the help of some friends and you're dropped in this big open world much like Oblivion. Now I don't know what this is with current generations RPG but I think the main story is just kind of sucks and that was the case with Oblivion, with, with um, Fallout, as well as Mass Effect 2. Because it's short, it's not very interesting, and it's... I mean, it's not, it's not impressive. I don't care if developers rip off The Lord of the Rings, but please do, because that story is enough for me. Moving on. I must give this game some credit for the beautiful graphics. And I'm talking about the environments. They are they look really I mean really amazing in my book and very colorful. There's beautiful lightning. Um it, it has this distinctive even sort of a romantic atmosphere and it just it just looks good it has it has this oblivion vibe to it I think this game is really you know talking about the graphics it's really inspired by oblivion so I'm gonna shut up now and let you enjoy for a bit the scenery On the other hand, character models don't fare so well. There are a lot of expressionless faces, standard generic character models, and it just doesn't look alive that much. So um, the same goes for the animations that are quite stiff and rough. So that's kind of a, a bummer. So you're thrown into this world and then the game starts and what you do is like in all standard RPGs is trying to build your character and you do so by fighting enemies by taking missions and the fun thing about this game is that the, the side missions that you can take in this huge world I must say are quite fun you know, there are a lot of diver a, lot, uh, a good variety of missions with different uh, object objectives. Like, for instance, there's a mission where early on in the game you meet a, a guy who's building a, uh, a, a house by himself with some help of some, some others. And at some point he says that he, he lost some, some of his tools in the valley and he sends you out to, to find his tools. But when you come back, because you couldn't find the tools, it's, it turns out that the people that helped the guy were in fact bandits trying to rob him so the, the main um, quest giver is really uh, annoyed by you by not uh, foreseeing what what's uh, what was happening at that at that point so that was that, that, that's a story with a little twist so there's a lot of that stuff in this game and there's a lot of locations to to uh, discover uh, dungeons there are a lot of um, little villages um, a lot of stuff for you to to rob and to open chests and find new stuff and that's 
really that kept me going in this game is the looting you know every enemy drops stuff and weapons armor all kinds of that and it's really that's that's really great that's why I play RPGs and you can dress up your character with different stuff and even paint his 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 clothes and and all that and I love that and it works really well in this game problem with the missions is that they don't really have an impact on the world itself as gamers come to expect from games like uh, Oblivion and even more in Fallout that you can actually see that the game world changes in a way um, uh, depending on the outcome of the mission but still there is a lot to keep you going and entertained and another thing about the uh, missions is um, the fact that it doesn't really tell you if a certain mission is doable if you have the skills to do this mission because you only find out when you take on the mission and you can you can take on missions early on in the game and once you start it and go go to a certain location to kill somebody it turns out that that somebody has a whole lot better statistics than you and you're you'll die in an instant but the, the game doesn't tell you that so that's kind of awkward because every time you it's a trial and error to see if you if a mission is doable or you need to kill some other smaller foes to build up your stats so I'll show you for example you can choose uh, different paths to take you know if you want to be a badass sword fighter you can do that uh, because if you level up you can add experience points to certain attributes like sword fighting uh, blocking um, strength stamina and all that if you want to be a badass wizard you can do that as well uh, you get all the you can find all the attributes or even buy them uh, magic books spells like wind fire um, ice and all that and it's really you know I'm not really into that kind of stuff but if there are, I know a lot of gamers are uh, in, into this magic thing so uh, you can do a lot with that in this game you can even brew your own potions with with different ingredients uh, for different effects so that's you know the, the game gives you all these all that good stuff for you to to do now moving in the world itself you can do by foot but that's not really a good idea because there's a lot of ground to be covered um, fortunately there are different portals um, a lot of them so you can move from one portal to the next and really um, like in oblivion um, you can um, can travel the, the whole world in an instant uh, you can do you can ride a horse as well like in oblivion as well um, so there's a there's some good variety of uh, of, how, of going through the uh, the game world okay let's talk a little about the fighting um, I think the fighting was lacking in this game I didn't really like it it's really button mashing um, though you can learn some different strikes and you can learn to effectively block strikes of your enemy but the strange thing in, in this game is that even though there's a wide variety of, of enemies and I like that um, it, it's strange when you hit try to hit a, a an enemy uh, and the enemy seems to block or you know your your strike is not um, is not really uh, hitting the enemy still uh, the, when the, the enemy is is blocking you you don't see him blocking there's no blocking animation if you understand what I what I mean that's really weird because you're trying to hack uh, onto the um, onto the enemy hit but you don't seem to hit him um, so it's it's kind of funny and it's really kind of sloppy programming I think but I guess this is really a general problem with this game uh, as it is played in third person it is hard you know or I must say it, it takes some time to get used to controlling your character uh, because the animations as I said are quite stiff and the, the controls are, are stiff as well it's it's really hard to to um, um, to is it, no it's not hard but it's it's not fluent 
um, like in other games and that's really um, annoying because even a simple thing like jumping can be can become uh, really a chore um, so that really sometimes takes me out of the game but it, you, you get used to it in, in eventually um, so yeah it could, it could have been done a little better I must say um, I have enjoyed a lot of the voice acting now I've been playing the German version of this game and um, that's because I, my German is quite good and um, I didn't want to wait for the uh, English version to come out I think uh, the US version will come out somewhere in 2011 but um, I think there were a lot of different voice actors and I really liked the different voices uh, that they used and there's a really nice classical soundtrack that really felt like again like Oblivion so you know it's it's trying to uh, it's best to to look like Oblivion to feel like Oblivion and there's there is a good size portion of the game that's really good uh, and it's basically the RPG element and that's what the game is all about but it's it's rough around the edges it's just it feels not that polished in the way it plays but still deep below all these frustrating little things you know the controls the fighting there's still there's still this this game that I think a lot of love has gone into by the programmers um, you know because you've seen the sunset I mean that is just brilliant okay so I'm, I'm, I'm giving this game a 7.5 out of 10 it's a good game but not that great but you know you should really check it out I enjoy it a lot if you're into RPGs uh, you know the, the standard RPGs then um, this is something for you uh, thanks for watching leave comments bye